When it comes to health care, there are many ways to get care. There are organizations that provide different care for different needs, like primary care centers, ERs, dentists, pharmacies, and behavioral health centers. When you have multiple health issues, you traditionally have to set up multiple appointments with these different specialists. Sometimes, people get help for only some of their concerns. When that happens, it's hard to get well. Although certain concerns may seem unrelated, they are all part of a whole person, a system, and it's hard for the person's health care provider to help them reach whole health and wellness unless they are aware of and know about all of the concerns. When they know all concerns, they can help the person decide which options for care may be more effective. There's a new approach, integrated health care. For people with multiple health concerns, including mental illness and addiction, health care providers are adopting integrated care practices. That means they are teaming up with other health care providers to increase access to primary and preventative medical care, mental health care, addictions treatment, and sometimes dentistry, offering coordinated care, sometimes even in the same office. Community health centers and behavioral health centers are beginning to work together to provide services as a team and screen and refer people to each other's office for the services needed. A growing number of integrated care providers are in the same building. What does integrated care look like? Let's take a look. Meet Wendy. Wendy doesn't feel well. She has diabetes and bipolar disorder. Lately, Wendy's been sad and drained of energy. Last month, Wendy was in the hospital for complications from her diabetes. Now, she needs to refill her medications and wants to see someone about how she's been feeling. She could go to a health clinic to see a doctor or nutritionist for her diabetes, a separate behavioral health center to see a counselor and psychiatrist for her bipolar disorder, and then head over to the pharmacy to pick up her medications. This time, Wendy is going to a place in her neighborhood where she can get primary care, mental health care, and addictions treatment. When Wendy gets to the center, she meets Renita, the receptionist. Renita helps Wendy enroll in the center's care. Wendy tells Renita about how she was just in the hospital, and she tells her why she's come in today. Wendy explains how depressed she feels, how she wants to talk to a counselor, how she needs a psychiatrist for her mental health medication, and a doctor for her diabetes. Renita gives Wendy a screening form, where Wendy shares that she drinks heavily but would like to stop. Renita explains to Wendy how, at their center, she will have a caring team of professionals, all at the same location, to help her achieve her health goals. Renita then introduces Wendy to Nathan, the nurse. Nathan takes Wendy's blood sugar and is alarmed at how high it is. Wendy explains that she hasn't checked her blood sugar for a week because she doesn't own a blood sugar monitor and can't afford one. Wendy tells Nathan that she'd like to know how to take better care of herself. Nathan checks with Wendy's health insurance and sets up an appointment for Wendy to see a doctor on that same day. Wendy then sees Dr. Dynamite. Dr. Dynamite gives Wendy a physical, and while she's doing that, Wendy talks with the doctor about her bipolar disorder and diabetes. Dr. Dynamite is concerned about Wendy's worsening symptoms of depression and steps out of the room to call a consultant psychiatric provider who suggests an increase in Wendy's antidepressant medication. She then writes Wendy a new prescription for her diabetes medication and the change recommended by the psychiatric consultant, and suggests that Wendy meet with her colleague Luis to talk more about her bipolar disorder. Dr. Dynamite indicates that she will also talk with Luis about Wendy's diabetes so that everyone is on the same page. She asks Wendy to check in with Nurse Nathan every day that week so they can together monitor her blood sugar. While Wendy is waiting for Luis to come into the exam room, Nathan talks with Wendy about managing her blood sugar, eating right, gives her tips to drink less, and advises her about her medication. Nathan then introduces Wendy to Luis, the center's licensed clinical social worker. Wendy feels comfortable enough to share her experiences and talks with Luis about her recent symptoms. Luis asks Wendy if they can meet on a weekly basis to start. Luis asks Wendy if she'd like to meet with Pia, a peer counselor. Luis explains that peer counselors are individuals on the care team who have experienced getting help for a mental health or addiction concern themselves and are trained in helping people who are working toward recovery just like they have. Wendy agrees that she would like to meet with Pia. Luis also gives Wendy a list of some nearby support groups that can help Wendy reduce her drinking. Nathan, Luis, Dr. Dynamite, and the other professionals that help care for Wendy at the center each know the outcomes of their visits with Wendy in one electronic health record. Before she heads home, Wendy chats with Nathan, who will work with Wendy to ensure she continues receiving regular care. Then, there's just one last stop. Wendy stops by the on-site pharmacy to pick up her prescriptions. 
All of Wendy's new caregivers talk about Wendy's progress in regular morning meetings. Nurse Nathan regularly checks on Wendy to make sure she has what she needs to manage her health and to feel better. Wendy is more confident in talking about her behavioral health and medical issues with Nurse Nathan, Peer Counselor Pia, and LCSW Luis. They see Wendy regularly to make sure she's feeling better and educate her how diabetes can sometimes worsen feelings of depression. Wendy now checks her blood sugar daily, takes her medication on schedule, and eats carefully. She is drinking less each week and is talking about giving up alcohol altogether. She attends a nutrition class at the center and walks every day to lose weight and to help control her diabetes. Her blood sugar is controlled, and with counseling and support, her symptoms of depression are reduced. Since starting this new, integrated care, Wendy hasn't had to visit the emergency room or go into the hospital. Wendy is on her way to wellness.